ducks. There's just something about ducks. They're one of the least threatening animals on the planet. But I wouldn't want to fight a horse-sized one. Let's get that out of the way. And even with a janky bootleg and skid mark, they manage to be unbelievably cute. People find ways to make ducks look disfigured and hideous. I mean, like the other duck duck that I did. Mate, we know the rules. If it's high tech, it's got to have a lowercase i in the front of it. <laughs> the, the, the eye duck. <laughs> That's the 100 mile stare if I've ever seen it, mate. Well, I mean, it is a past time speaker, mate, so it's seen things about you that it wish it never did. But here's the thing, this isn't the first iDuck that I've ordered. <laughs> Scrolling through the masses of MP3 listings, I find the iDuck, I have to have the iDuck. Three months, no iDuck. Now, I mean, I had to look for another six months to <laughs> find another iDuck. I was devastated to not get the first one. The pent up anticipation to be blown away is, is immeasurable. I mean, my whole week's enjoyment is dependent on how this goes today. <laughs> and it's been taped up with sticky tape and then re- I'm, I'm not confident, but- Well, as you can see from the box, mate, she's the iDuck. The floating wireless bath time speaker. You get a spaced out duck and this giant egg? <laughs> it's water like a real duck. Transmits wirelessly, nice. FM radio? I don't care. Uh, same thing. Same, same thing. I gotta do this like it's an as seen on TV bit, mate. All right, here we go. Fill up the bath. Switch on. Lie back. Enjoy. Your music collection will be streamed wirelessly from your MP3 player, mobile phone, or any other audio source via the egg-shaped transmitter. <laughs> okay. What is this? Recyclemore.co. Oh, okay. Well, it just looks like someone falling down like a giant hole. Don't put it in the bin immediately. And, ooh, not to three sad onions. Well, battery precautions. Only use fresh batteries. Oh, no. Did I defrost it? Oh, no. I think I've only got frozen batteries, guys. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. All right. It's time to... It's time to have a look at what I got. Please don't be terrible. I mean, it's obviously not new. Like, if this is how it came from the fact... Oh, it looks new. Oh. Oh, are you telling me someone opened this and just said no? <laughs> oh, mate, we got the manual. <laughs> the eye duck does not look good head on, mate. Oh, it runs on three. Ah! Not included. Thanks, boys. Is the egg really that big? What kind of duck lays an egg that big? Please keep this information for future reference as it's important. Let the exhibition continue. Uh, ooh, that is a nice, uh, not really, uh, aux cable. Oh, our sweet duck. Um, the egg really is that big. <laughs> <laughs> this is front on look, man. Um, you know, in person, I, I like it. I like it! Oh, it's got really rubbery buttons. Ooh, that's a, mmm. Is that the speaker? Does it come out the back of the duck's head? It's actually higher quality than I gave it credit for. I mean, it doesn't feel in the hand like an iPhone 13, but it's nowhere near, I mean, what about the, oh no, wait a minute. Heard of egg shakers, but that's not good. Um, this is crap. This is, this is really bad. Oh no, how many bats do I need? Gotta do the dad bit, because, you know, batteries are so delicious looking, the kids are just, they just gotta pop them in their mouth, man. Go, my boys. Be one with the duck. Uh-oh, it's turned on. Ooh! What is it picking up? <laughs> no, stop. I didn't ask for that. <laughs> Man, ducks get good reception. No wonder why people keep them as pets. God, five batteries. I mean, we've seen that the radio works. That's neato. Well, maybe we've got to pair up with a nugget. Oh, it's the nugget that runs my drum stream. I bet you didn't know Scala Fire has a video clip. All right, we just got to take the worst aux cable I've ever felt and we put it in the, the egg. All right, come on, my duck. Oh, no, I'm, I'm getting bad reception from the duck. How? Oh dear! No! Oh, oh no! Hang on, can't... I'm not... I can't... I can't do it! I can't... Oh! Oh no! It's reset. It's set to audio, so FM... Oh! Oh! Um, okay, that's very confusing, because I just set that all the way to FM, and then it worked. But if I put it to audio... Uh. Now, uh, I don't know if you picked up there, but the duck sounds absolutely terrible. And to prove it to you... Power on. Bluetooth mode. Maybe we just want that aux mode. Auxiliary mode. Yep. <laughs> Um, that, uh, you know, they managed
managed to win the race. Stop, shut up! Wow, mate, this thing is a transparent, absolute pile of junk. <laughs> if you set it to audio, it just plays static. If you put it on FM, it might pick up this and also any random radio station. Every time you phase in and out, it picks a new radio station. This is one of the lowest tier things I've ever held. I c could you believe the iDuck wouldn't be any good? But mate, there's one more thing about this that we need to test. This idiot's claiming to be a bath time speaker that's waterproof. <laughs> All right, mate, we've run a nice bath here. It's also known as a sink. All right, mate, we've got the eye duct here. Will this idiot even float? Oh, no, she's capsized. Oh, no, they're like the ducks at the pond. And they don't like to take food anymore. And, like, this is proper, yeah? This is a really hot bath. I wouldn't want to be sitting in this. Come on, mate, don't roll over like that. Oh, no, why are you, why are you top heavy? Okay, hey, we can't can't see the duck. All right, she, she kind of, she floats pretty okay. Oh. All right, let's get her on. Uh-oh. Uh, can, can you hear that? Uh oh, it's unhappy. Um, it, it made grumbling noises. Oh, oh, the, look, the radio works. All right, let's get Scarlet Fire going. Not that it's gonna notice it. Stop playing the radio. It's, it's you, we're gonna get content match. Shh, oh, that works good. Uh oh, that's a lot of bubbles. Oh dear. Ah, it's boiling hot. It's ignoring the scarlet fire. Oh, you, you gotta aim the egg. This is not going well. Oh, all right, mate. We need to simulate a real scenario, which is an attempted drowning by a jealous housemate. Oh, you think you're the clever one. You think you're the adorable new speaker. Oh, do you, you think you're gonna take my job? I don't think that's possible, mate. I'm a waterproof speaker as well. And I'm not shaped like a duck, maybe. Well, I actually sound half decent. I actually know how to play music and not just a stick on radio. Uh oh, it's silent. That there's so Oh, no, Elton John. Shh. Everything's dripping wet, guys. It is literally one of the most disobedient piles of junk I've ever used. I want to know, did the batteries get wet? Did my boys get soiled? Mm, no! There actually is a gasket in here. Oh, man! The iDuck is such a high-quality product. Give me my boys back. Oh! <laughs> they couldn't wait to get out of the duck. I have to see inside the duck. I really do. Oh, there's rubber bits hiding the screws. Ooh! Oh, come on. Yes. What? <laughs> Huge plugs in there. Oh, guys, <gasps> we're in. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at all the water. Look at all the water. Oh, wow, man. They really, really waterproofed this idiot. I, I bet you it all just came straight in through the speaker holes or something. I mean, there's no O-ring or nothing on this, but oh, that. Look at all the water, man. Mate, we're going to see what's in the egg. All right. Avoid the... What? <laughs> no! What? It, you tell me it doesn't need to be an egg. Is that like a clever antenna or something? Using the power of the egg. It's full of literally nothing. No wonder why it runs like crap. What are the most disobedient piles? I mean, it's like a real duck. Just doesn't follow directions at all. <laughs> oh, Mr. I Duck, why did I pin my hopes and dreams of this week on you not being an absolute pile of junk? Well, that's it. <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Shoot, thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because, mate, one dollar a month, I do extra videos. Mate, I got my drum stream. If you want to see me live, like I've revamped it, you know, it's, it looks like Windows XP now. That's fun. You guys like Windows XP, don't you? And mate, I got garbage time. I keep saying I'm working on videos. I swear that I am, but they're over there, mate. But for one dollar, boy, do I have a treat for you. So for my drum stream, I literally went to an op shop and just found a whole bunch of silverware and trinkety things literally to throw symbols at. It really is quite therapeutic. I do enjoy it. This is pretty spe- It has nothing to do with anything I've talked about on this channel, but I don't care. I flicked in like two or three pages in and I'm like, I have to share this. The National Microwave Australian Cookbook from 1983. <laughs> you know what's good when three quarters of the stuff on the page aren't microwave, like, not microwave, not, oh, oh darling, just, just microwave some bubbly for us, it's time to celebrate. But uh, I think this book is evil. I think it literally shows you how to turn food into heat. So that's what we're looking at, and mate, I'll see you all next time.